Hi, it's me again with Corel Real Tips and Tricks, and I think this is like number seven. Last night I thought it was over, but then today somebody sent me this picture, and I think it looks great. They're not happy with it. Uh, it's still not as good. If you look at part one, it's still not as good as part one or two. Uh, somebody designed it, but I think it's fantastic. Now, the difference is we were all doing, I was doing an R, we're doing a D here that's probably the easiest letter you could do because everything's equal. And even to make it more equal, here is a D from Ariel Black. But if we look, everything's not equal. If we take the parallel dimension tool and we measure that, and we get 2.9 inches, if we measure that, it's only two. So it's almost three inches and a little less, a little more than two. One way you can solve that, if you're just doing not a particular text, but a D, I've got three inches in every dimension because I took the center D and moved it over here and left click, right click. And then I'm going to go, that's why I decided to do the video on, because of this right here. If you go to the outside one time, three inches, it's going to be three inches all the way around. Now, at a diagonal, it might not be, but it's three inches here, three inches here, three inches there, three inches there, because that's how the contour tool works. So with that being said, we can use this one a lot better. So let's go to object and break the contour apart, and we're going to grab that outer D, and now we're going to contour it. Uh, to the inside, a half. Of, I'm just going to do a half of a, you know, let's do uh, five of them or six. And we get that, and now they're all equal. Now, they're individuals, I'm pretty sure. No, they're, it's a, no, I did contour them. So we'll go to object, select all of them, go to object and break the contour apart. Now you have, then you need to go to group and ungroup them. Now we have six individual lines, and if we look, we've got seven objects. Uh, maybe it's seven lines because I did it six. But that doesn't matter. And here's what I kind of came up with. The, all the dots are on the inside of the D. And what I'm going to do, again, I'm, gonna, I'm only going to do, I'm not going to do that one or the outside one, but you could and then make them whatever size you want. So we're gonna move the outside one out of the way and the inside one out of the way. So we're just gonna do the four. I did six on this one. Now, this is a curve, so we can open up, go to Windows, Dockers, Properties, and if we pick that right there, we've got 319 so I'm going to go 32. I'm just going to round everything off. The inside one, we have 28. So I'm going to make it 28. The next one, we have 25, basically. We're going to round up a little bit. The next one, we have 20. I'm going to call it 22. No, 21, because it's less. And then the last one is... 18. So I'm going to take these dots that I created. They're a quarter inch wide, they're half inch apart. That doesn't really matter. And I'm going to take the blend tool and I'm going to blend. First of all, I'm going to make a bunch of copies of them. I'm going to control D because I need a bunch of copies. Take those, blend them the 32 times. Now, if you were going to do this, you'd want to have more. But I'm just saying, just to make it, and then I'm going to go put on that path, blend along full path, and voila. Grab this one, change it, and blend it 28 times. Go here, new path, put on that second path, blend along full path. See, they're, they're going to be equal, because well, relatively equal. The next set, we're going to do 25. 
blend along full path. And I guarantee this is the last one I do. If you see one more, it'll be a macro that bam, just does it. The next one is we did 25. We need 21 new path. And this would be better if you did more dots than I'm doing blend along full path apply because it would really look good. So now we need to take the last one and the last one is 18. And remember, we're just uh, rounding off because you could get it probably dead on. Now, that looks pretty cool. They're pretty even. I mean, they're, they're, well, they look even up here and then down here, they're not as even, but they're all spaced out pretty close to the same. I'm going to select it all, go up to object, break the 20 part. I've got my nudge set factor set on eight inches. So I'm going to nudge that out of the way, nudge that out of the way, nudge that out of the way, that, that out of the way, that out of the way. Now, if you remember, we kept these and we're going to nudge them back. Let's go ahead and nudge this one further and further and further. So now we have circles and a, a letter. Of course, like I said, D is the easiest. And they're all pretty far spread out equally. Now, I don't know if that helps anybody, but I gave it my best shot. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.